Welcome to Survivor TRHS versus the Specialists. The 20 of you were chosen to represent two different Patreon groups, the Russell Hand Show and the Survivor Specialist Podcast of Phil and Alexa. I am your host, Ryan Grindle, along with my co-host, Lauren Pratt. What's going on, everybody? What's it going? Lauren. Woo. We excited? Nice to see you guys. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We see some excitement. This is Survivor. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. Let's do this. All right. Let's get started. Mikey Pook, hey, a returning player, previously played for TRHS. Now you're playing against them. What's the reaction been to that? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's been like you would think it is. Uh, people think that I might be a traitor. People think that I might be a spy. I don't know how uh, people are taking it, but um, all I know is that I'm here with the specialist this time. TRHS is in the past. I'm looking forward to working with all these new people. I've built some relationships that I think are gonna be very good moving forward. And I have missed you so much, Ryan. I've been waiting to talk to you for like months now. So it's good seeing you. <laughs> That's all I got. Denny cast list is released a few weeks ago. How much does pre-gaming come into play at this point? Um, I think pre-gaming for me, it was just all about making connections. There really wasn't a lot of game talk. It was just getting to know people, um, seeing what you have in common, building up trust within the tribe. Ian. This is season two of the Patreon theme Survivor. Did you happen to watch the previous season TRHS for SNSFW? I did. Well, in that season, there was a lot of talk of whether people are playing for themselves or playing more for their Patreon growth. Do you think that debate and that way of thinking will continue with this season? I do. I think that the people, at least from the specialist side, I obviously haven't spoken to TRHS, but we would like to represent Phil and Alexa well, as well as represent ourselves well. I mean, everybody's going to get to know us throughout the game. So we want to be good, uh, show, show out for ourselves and show out for the patron group as well. All right. Well, everybody, for the most part, received a care package in the mail. Does everybody have that with them? Third. All right, who opened it already? Hey. Sealed, buddy. Sealed. <laughs> Signed, I'll... sealed, and delivered, Ryan. It, it wasn't easy, trust me. I'm ready to go. I had to All right. Everybody's Signed, excited. Signed, sealed, and delivered, baby. Everybody's excited. Let's open them right now. You can All open right. it up. Now, this is exciting for me. What? <laughs> While we're opening it up, we'll thank Denise for all the crazy hard work she did getting these sent out. That was unbelievable. How you doing, Denise? Uh, that was awesome. Don't worry, just open it up. Inside, there's a bunch of items that you will use throughout this season, okay? We got ping pong balls, cups, pencils, rubber bands, straws, metal spoons, things like that, okay? Lots of different items. There is a set of rules inside that you can read over as well for the whole season, okay? There's parchment paper, um, things like that that you'll use to vote. All right, everybody's got it open. We're gonna get started with something right now. I want you to take out the Sharpie, and I want you to take out a piece of parchment paper because you're voting somebody off right now. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's me. Oh. Everybody grab a Sharpie and a parchment paper. Can we get to talk at all? There will no. be no talk and there will be no chatting, which is a rule that is going to be new for this season from our last season. We're not going to be allowed to chat with each other on the chat throughout trials, throughout challenges, anything like that, okay? I'm going to give you one minute to write down the name of somebody in your tribe, and then we're going to reveal them. This is going to be an open vote. We're going to see who everybody votes for, okay? We're going to start with the TRHS tribe, okay? We're going to go in order from the list I have. Ben Stone, you're up first. I want you to reveal your vote. Ben has voted for Christian. Carrie. That's two votes, Christian. Christian Leach, your vote. Ben, that's two votes, Christian. One vote, Ben. Corey. Christian. Denny. Christian, that's four votes, Christian. One vote, Ben. Joe. 
Christian, that's five votes, Christian. One vote, Ben. One more vote, and Christian will be off. We got Karen. Christian, that's six votes for Christian. That's enough. Karen, why'd you vote Christian? Just the person I know the least. Simple as that. Of, of everybody. <laughs> Christian, how's it feel? Seconds into the game and already ousted from your tribe. Damn, bro. It happens, you know, didn't get to know me fully, but I mean, it happens. It's, it's the game. Not going to take offense to it, but it's the game. All right, we are going to reveal the vote to Logan, Rob, and Sam, if you guys could reveal your votes. It says Christian, but it's fine. <laughs> I met Ben, Logan, and Christian. Where's Rob at? Rob at Christian, too. All right. So Christian, we'll hold tight for a second. We're going to go to the Specialist Tribe. Same thing. Andrew, if you could reveal your vote. Bill. Annabelle. Frank. One vote, Phil. One vote, Frank. Frank. Frank, your vote. Andrew. One vote, Phil. One vote, Frank. One vote, Andrew. Ian. Frank. That's two votes, Frank. Jeremy. Frank. That's three votes, Frank. John David. Andrew. Three votes, Frank. Two votes, Andrew. One vote, Phil. McKenna. Ian and Pook. Andrew, that's four votes, Frank. Three votes, Andrew. Morgan. Frank. All right, and Phil, you show us your vote. Andrew. All right, so we have four votes, Andrew, four votes, Frank. So we're going to do a re vote between Andrew and Frank. Andrew and Frank will not vote. Everybody else put in one more vote. All right, we're gonna reveal our votes. We're gonna start with Annabelle. Frank. I and crossed. <laughs> you say me. Yep. Frank. Jeremy. Frank. John David. Andrew, that's three votes, Frank. One vote, Andrew. McKenna. Frank. Four votes, Frank. One vote, Andrew. And Mikey. Um, I don't know why I crossed out the name and then wrote it again. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan. Frank. Five votes, Frank. That's enough. And fill up. For Frank, too. So we got six votes for Frank. Two votes, Andrew. All right. Frank, how's it feel? Uh, I I knew I had a target coming in. Uh, I'm just glad I was able to get to know the specialist while I had the opportunity. Um, there's some really awesome people in that group. I wish him the best of luck. I still want Purple to come out on top. Um, pay attention to how those votes went down tonight, everybody that's still in the game. It's going to tell a little. Um, look forward to seeing you guys in the future. Hopefully there's Redemption Island. <laughs> Frank, you talk like you're out of the game. Yeah, I'm assuming I am out of the game. Hmm. All I said was you're getting voted off your tribe. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you are not out of the game. And in fact, this season we are not doing TRHS versus the specialist. You just selected your captains for our two new tribes. Oh my <laughs> god. What? <laughs> no. Let's go! Buy it, no! <laughs> Let's go! Yo, messed up! Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Bro. So, Christian, you are the new representative of the tribe Miamia. You will now be the purple tribe. Wait, Frank, so my t the t-shirt I ordered. You are representative of the Nakoda tribe. You guys will be wearing orange. 
here's how it's going to work. We are going to do a draft right here, right now. Christian, you received the most votes. You will draft first. You are going to pick someone from the opposite tribe. Then Frank, you will select someone from the opposite tribe. Once those people are selected, they will then pick a person from the opposite tribe and we will go from there. Once everyone is chosen, you will hear further instructions. So Christian, who are you going to choose first? Who? Frank? Logan, since he was first voted out in my last game. All right, Hook, you're up. Denny. Logan, who you got? I'm gonna go with Ian. Denny, you're up. John. Ian, you're up. I'll take Carrie. Yeah, John, go. I'm gonna take Carrie. Carrie, you're up. Annabelle. Karen, you're up. McKenna. Annabelle. Who's Mr. Nice Guy? Yeah, you got you got Sam, okay. Yeah, okay. All right, McKenna, you're up. Ben. Going with Ben. Sam. Morgan. Ben. I'll go with uh, Andrew. Morgan, who you got? Um, I'll pick Corey. Andrew. I'll pick Joe. Corey, who you got? I'll go with Jeremy. All right, Joe. How you doing, Phil? I'm picking you. All right. All right, and then Rob is gonna be the last member of the Nakoda tribe. All right, Christian, since you have some new life in this game, what do you think you're gonna have to do to prove yourself to this new tribe? Well, um, I mean, I, apparently, I guess I got voted off because everybody knew me the least. So I guess I gotta talk to more people and just talk more. I guess that's my number one um, goal for now. Morgan. How does the dynamic of the game change with this tribe switch up right off the bat? I mean, it's a whole new ball game now. We had a couple weeks to get to know the people who we thought we were gonna be playing with. And I mean, it's just, we're starting from square one again. All right. And Phil, you were uh, not selected. You were put on the tribe. Yep. So how are you feeling right now, not being picked? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I have to deal cards that are dealt. All right. Are you guys ready to get to your first immunity challenge of the season? For today's challenge, five people on your tribe are going to balance a set of solo cups while walking back and forth to roll four dice to the number six. Once all five tribe members complete that task, two members of your tribe relay style will be shooting rubber bands off of three solo cups. There will be three ping pong balls stacked on top and the rubber bands will be shot at them. Once all three ping pong balls are fallen off, your final three tribe members will finish with a survivor puzzle. Winning tribe wins immunity, losing tribe, tribal council, where one of you will be the first person voted out of the game. I will give you guys a moment to strategize and we will get started. Survivors ready, go. All right, you gotta balance all three cups. Walk across your tape measure, rolling a dice. Get all four dice. In my army, all we have Mikey, Denny, McKenna, Ben, and Joe. For Nakoda, we have Frank, Annabelle, Jeremy, and Rob. Joe struggling. Lauren held it. Anything she has it. Oh, You're good. Danny's good. Good job, Danny. Thanks. Good job, Danny. 
Nice. Oh, wow. Very nice. One person down for my Amia. Four more to go. Lots of cups dropping. Ben's dropping. Morgan looking real steady. Ken has to start over. I'm done. Oh. I'm done. Let me see him. Done. Hey! Here we go, Morgan. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. There's six. Morgan, you're good on that end. Uh, Pook, you you're good on that end. Morgan, go down a little lower. You're good. Good job, Morgan. Morgan's good. Pook's good. Oh. Six. You're Frank, good. Rob, Way to go, Frank. Rob's good. Good job, Rob. Ah. Good job, Rob. Dakota. Joe, turn your camera on. Oh, Joe. Good? Yes. Ben That's struggling. Who's got to roll a dice here? Who's done now? I got it. Okay, McKenna. McKenna looks good on that end. Good job, McKenna. McKenna's good. Oh, Jeremy's yeah. good. Good sweater. That's good, Jeremy. All right, Annabelle, you got this. Good is down to the last player in Annabelle. Good Jeremy's job, Jeremy. Good. Yep, Joe, you're good. I'm good. All right, sweet. Oh. Huh. Got him nice and steady before you take off. I'm one and one, Ben. Just go slow, Annabelle. Ben, slow. You're all right, Ben. Just okay, man. It. It's all good. It comes down to the puzzle, man. You got it. Let's do it. Slow. Oh, Ben's going Annabelle, try resetting it on on the ground or something so you start with it steady. <laughs> Annabelle making good progress now. You know what? I wasn't gonna talk it, to it, it. Annabelle, show it. Show, show the screen. Annabelle, show it. All right, it. Annabelle, great job. You're all right, Ben. You're all right, Ben. There's ben, two. use that wingspan of yours. There's the other two. Annabelle's good, good. Dakota can move no. on. Nice job, Annabelle. Oh. Oh. All right, Sam and Corey, you guys got this. Ben, you're tall. Just get on your knees and- I lay on my knees and throw the dice with my toes? Corey firing! However you gotta do it, Ben, roll those mothers. There it is. Corey, take ball. Ben, there's gonna be a puzzle here, and if it's very difficult, we're gonna be in good shape. Dakota in the lead currently. Miami is still waiting on Ben to ah. the first portion of the challenge. Harry, Harry. Got it. Got it. Great job, Corey. That was awesome. Nice, Sam. Yeah, buddy. Good right. job, Sam. Good job, bud. Let's go. Woo. You got this, Ben. You got this. And all three, you can work on the puzzle. Carrie, Logan, and Ian on the puzzle. I'm sorry, Ben, it's not over until it's over. Do not, don't stress yourself out. They say captains have immunity for one week, right? Oh yeah, guys. Wait, wait, somebody just. Did... The shark was in the shark was in the fire place. Shark was in the place. Oh, sorry about that. My bad. You're good. You're good. Dakota getting help from all their tribe mates to try and figure out this puzzle. All right, we only got about 20 more to go. Great job. You got it. This is the one, Ben. This is the trip, my man. Got this, but I really hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blue side looks good. 
Yeah. Dude, this size. No, 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 the blue side's wrong. It's backwards. Switch it all around real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This challenge is turning out to be a blowout. Nakoda, seven pieces away. Ooh. All right, we're done. Wait, are we? Oh, what? We two it. more. Well, yes, two. Two. Two pieces. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. There you go. I got it. Nice. Yes. Nice. Oh, nice. Yes. Nakoda. Oh, my God. Yeah, Nakoda. Woo. Oh, my God. That's right. That's right. Yes. Good job, guys. Oh, Sorry, guys. Myomia, Tribal Council, tomorrow night. Wait, that's not us, right? will be the first person <laughs> voted out of the game. I'm with the idiots again, man. I swear to God. We, I can just... Can I get on one tribe that wins something? Man, like... Our tribe sucked, man. Mainly Ben, but... It is what it is, man. We got to scramble. And I'm in big trouble now because I voted Christian, and guess who's on my tribe? Christian. I'm not taking any offense to getting voted off like that um, at first. So, it is what it is. And now, on the other hand, it was beneficial for me. It was definitely beneficial. I ended up getting an idle clue. And the idle clue states, Congratulations. Being ousted by your original tribe has its perks. You have found a clue to a hidden immunity idol. To find what's actually important, use the numbers and use them all. If you solve it, you'll be rewarded. With safety when your back's against the wall. I can't tell you how hard this one is. I've been trying to figure this one out for a while. We got an instruction sheet and it had hidden letters uh, in the instruction sheet and numbers on the bottom. And the letters were anything, but the numbers are something. And I'm the only one, other than I'm guessing the specialist who got oust, uh, uh, ousted first, has that information. So, that's beneficial for me. I haven't told anybody yet. I don't plan on telling anybody. So I gotta do damage control. I gotta pull Christian in. Because I know we got four solid. I know Ben's going to roll with us. I know um, Denny and Karen are good and solid. Well, tonight was wild. I didn't see that whole swap thing happening right off the bat. Uh, very unexpected. I knew something was going to happen, but I didn't know it was that. Um, what really sucked about tonight was the challenge. I mean, Ben, <laughs> that poor boy. Um... I need to teach him some yoga when this is all done so he can work on his balance. He just couldn't get the job done. I am not someone who's going to vote someone off for one poor performance, though. Um, and I like Ben, so I want him to stick around. I don't know how the votes are going to go down. I really need to reach out to the specialist people. I need to reach out to Christian and mend fences with him since I wrote his name down. Um, yeah. I'm feeling like I'm in an okay place, but I'll feel better once I can connect with these other people. I got to get Christian on board because if we get five strong, if we get five strong, I know for a fact I can pull Pook. I know I can pull Pook because I know that Pook wants to prove himself. Uh, I got Christian Leach on my team. We got uh, John, McKenna, Andrew... Ben, we lost our first challenge. Denny, Denny's on our team as well. We lost our first one. Uh, ben struggled a little bit and the uh, balancing the cup, walking across, uh, you know, it is what it is. I don't think Ben's gonna be the target. I am hoping that it is Christian or Andrew going it. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we have Joe. Joe as well is on our tribe and me and him, you know, didn't see eye to eye at uh, the first game we had, but I'm hoping that we and him can work together, make something happen, get this team going strong. Let's go for it, baby. He didn't get a good chance last time. I know that his moves didn't work last time. And I'm also kind of using the fact that we didn't get along at the reunion as like an underdog story, a story that nobody else can predict, um, a story that nobody's going to expect. I'm trying to pull Pook in, and I'm trying to get 
Pook to roll with me and I'm trying to make a top two um, alliance with Pook, which I'm not sure I can hold my word to because I'm playing a different game this time. However, I am trying to um, uh, get Pook on my side and use the fact that I was trustworthy the first game in order to get him on my side. Um, it's not going to be easy. He tells me he wants to play with me, but knowing Pook, I don't trust Pook. But it's it's. I think this vote will be the most important vote of the game. It will it will determine everything that goes on afterwards. Because if we win this vote, we're solid. We are solid, and um, we're gonna be a strong unit. Props to you guys on this twist, man. It's the day after the whole challenge went down, and I am a, on a tribe of nobody who I really was like closely aligned to. I had Philip who was in the six, but then the rest of my core four are on the other tribe and I'm alone with someone in Pook who I wanted to use as a shield, John who I wanted to get out second, and Andrew who we barely even heard from. So it's me and Philip. Now the only one from my group of six is McKenna, so me and McKenna are going to instantly be kind of tight. Um, you know, hopefully, and, and fortunately also Christian, who was voted out, is now on our tribe, so we might have a way, something that we can work with, either somebody to get out first from their side or someone that we can pull to our side. We're, we'll have to see how it goes. I mean, I was really really hoping that we could win and figure things out but no we lose and and we have to quickly figure it out a lot quicker than I wanted to um and and it's just been insane um obviously there's a 5-5 split in my opinion um with the specialist and you know the other side of the Russell Hand show um you know I, I'm staying strong to the five. Um, me, Pook, John, McKenna, and Phil. Even though they they did um, almost vote me out, but that that's in the past. That's water under the bridge. Um, I, I feel like it is best for me right now to go with them. I hear my name come up today for a first vote, which doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I'm doing nothing. Like, what are you talking about? I'm not sitting over here scheming or I I don't suck at challenges. Like, there's nothing. I'm not like such a huge threat. Like, I get voted out before merge every time. Like, how am I a huge threat? My name comes up and it's because of Christian and Pook. Um, so I've been nervous all day about that and I'm really irritated about it because like I told Pook like we can work together this time I'm not interested in a battle because I lose when we battle and like why I don't want to risk that on the first vote so but uh, he still doesn't trust me which I get why he doesn't trust me but like ugh but my name still came up today, and I'm I'm very <laughs> offended by that. And he refused to talk to me the whole day. Like he wouldn't even talk to me. He he told. He talked to Joe, and he's expecting Joe to do his, like talking for him. So since we're going to tribal tonight, obviously we didn't do too well in the challenge. Um, I was just thankful that I performed my part, and I wasn't. Unfortunately, Ben. <laughs> um, so I don't know where everybody's heads are at for the actual vote. If we're going to do the easy part in Ben, or if we can try and get one of the TRHSs to flip over to the specialist because we are five strong and we are going to stick that way to the end. At first, I'm like, okay, we got our five and we're going to pull over Pook. But then as the day's been going on, um, I've been hearing all these stories, you know, he said, she said, all this nonsense. And they all these stories revolve either around Christian or revolve around Pook. Um, so some one of those two people are lying. I don't really know. My guess is Pook because of history. But, you know, we got to make a decision. And um, this tribal is going to be huge. This is going to be the bow of the game here. Uh, depending on where we go... Um, will really determine the outcome for the rest of the game. So, 
Joe. Joe has been trying to uh, push my name at the end here. Joey, man, shouldn't be coming for me, bro. Haven't you talked to Karen? Every time she does that, she goes home. And now, it's your turn, bud. All right, talk about heart palpitations. Like, whoa. <laughs> First of all, I got less than two hours of sleep last night. Um, I somehow ended up on a Zoom call with the specialist people from my tribe. No idea how that happened, but I wasn't going to pass it up. The more information I have, the better. Um, I've heard so many names floating around today that my head is legit spinning. But the last name I heard as the target for the specialist people is Joe. And that is so heartbreaking to me because I wanted to work with Joe far into this game. Um, but TRHS people are targeting Mikey and I'm not about to let Mikey go. Um, Joe and Karen are super, super tight. And I know that Joe would choose Karen over me in a heartbeat. Um, so I have to keep Mikey as my main man in this thing. I mean, if TRHS picked someone else, then I would try to work with them right now. I would keep the vote with them. Um, even though I think it would be a, a split vote. But I can't even suggest that without raising red flags about me and Mikey's relationship. So, Joe, I love you, dude. And uh, I hope you'll forgive me for this one. So... For someone who was almost voted out within the first five minutes of the game, I am in a wonderful, wonderful spot for this first tribal council. Not only are the votes not going on me from the TRHS side, the votes are going on Pook. But, I know who's going home. Joe's going home. Because not you have the five specialists, me, John, Pook, Phil, and McKenna, all voting for Joe. But we have Danny flipping. Supposedly Danny's flipping. I don't know. I guess only time will tell. Um, Pook said she's flipping. And I get good vibes from her. I, I like Danny a lot. I, I certainly hope she's flipping. I know that if she flips, I have her back throughout the rest of this game for as long as I can have her back for. I'm doing last minute scrambling. It is 8.20, Tribal Council is in 40 minutes. Um, I am trying to rally the team on voting Pook. Last minute decision, I'm trying to make it so he doesn't have any time to scramble. Um, I'm trying to make any deal I can with the specialist. Um, I'm saying straight up, I will vote Christian the next time. Uh, you have my word, I will, I will gladly vote Christian's name the next vote, but we have to get Pook out because he will not even speak with Karen. And if you cannot even speak to one of my allies, then I cannot play with you. I cannot trust you. Um, I think Pook is a great guy, uh, great story, um, tremendous character, but I cannot play with him. And I'm, I'm trying to rally the troops. So I think it'll be five votes um, Pook, four votes Christian, um, I, I, McKenna tells me she's gonna throw a rogue vote, um, possibly Andrew's voting Pook, he tells me he is, um, so it's just a wait and see thing now, so we'll see. Joe thinks I'm stupid, so what? I, I, Joe, I think you're the real stupid one, bro. I'm sure you're a great guy outside of this game, but, dude, like, you, you try to dictate how things are going, you know what? It's only gonna end with you being the first person voted out, bro. Welcome to your first tribal council. Obviously, none of you want to be here, but here you are. So, let's start and talk about the challenge. Ben, obviously, you had a poor challenge performance, and with this being the first tribal council, a lot of people don't have much information to go off of. For the first vote so do you think that paints a huge target on your back 100 percent uh everyone was really volunteering for the puzzle and and the rubber band challenge so i just thought i'd fill in and uh, I, I think i was just feeling too confident go i mean i probably should have said something after trying realizing going down was going to and up was going to be an issue for me 
But no, absolutely. I think it's a big target on me. I, I hope I, I hope I get to stay. Um, my my talking with everyone else um, might have saved me tonight, but who knows? And Karen, going off of that, do you think that the other tribe out strategized you guys in terms of the placement of the people? Because only five people from your tribe were able to compete. I mean, I don't even know. Like, I don't know how hard it is to do that test because I wasn't on it. So, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say like that they are just like better strategically when maybe it's just something that is just hard to do and some people just can't do it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but it's, it's a shame we didn't get to do the puzzle because they were going kind of slow at it and I think we would have killed it. And so McKenna, we threw kind of a huge curveball right off the bat in the game. Uh, no one kind of knew what was happening or what was up. So in terms of pregame alliances that you potentially had, everyone had two weeks to pregame. How did that affect your uh, relationships and moving on to this new tribe? What were you having to do? Oh, I mean, I don't completely don't know five five people. So there, and we're at a stalemate. So now I've got to try and build relationships with new people while trying to maintain relationships with old people. And then now how is that gonna look to me if I backstab a specialist to um, to the other side? Now am I ex exiled from the other people? So it's not only just worrying about within my tribe, but then how is it gonna look to the other tribe? And so Denny, in your mind, is it still TRHS versus the specialist? I mean, <clears throat> the specialists seem great and all, but I really don't know them. So to put like my game in their hands would just be ridiculous at this point. So I'm hoping it's not like a split vote tonight and TRHS uh, moves forward with the numbers. And Joe, you're a returning player. You got two other returning players here and Pook and Karen as well. So do you think that is makes you a huge target or could that be an advantage for you because people might want to work with you simply because you've played before. So you might have information that you can help guide other people that are in the game. So what are your thoughts on that? You know, it certainly paints a target. Um, you know, these are people, a lot of these people have not played and they don't know what happens. And, you know, um, they might feel like, oh, you had your chance and you didn't do well. Uh, so you gotta go, but on the other end, um, I've proved myself as a trustworthy person. Um, I played last game true to my word, and I'm, I'm sticking with that this time, and um, I'm, I'm willing to work with people, and, and it's a game of trust, you know what I mean? So, um, I like our group. I like every single individual in our group, so, um, does it paint a target to answer your question? Yes, it does, but I also think I have a lot to bring to the tribe, so. And Christian, you were that first person voted out of your original tribe. So with this tribe shakeup and everything, how are you feeling with this new group of people that you're now with? Well, I already told uh, the people I was with before, I don't take it with offense. You know, it was like a split second decision on what you had to do. So I'm not taking that to heart. Um, I mean, everybody might see, you know, since he was voted out first, uh, it might be an easy vote tonight, you know, but um, I feel like I've talked to everyone and at least got my name out there to meet everyone, you know what I mean? And Phil, I kind of talked to Joe a little bit about him being a returning player this season along with Pook and Karen. In your mind, are returning players someone that you want to work with or they targets to you right off the bat? I mean, it depends on the returning players because different players have different styles. So one returning player may have played in a way that I want nothing to do with or maybe communicating with me in a way that I'm just not okay with. But also another returning player, you know, I might get along really well with and I might want to take that experience and, you know, and go with it and move forward with that person. Pook. Wow. 
obviously you uh, are a return player as well. Is there anything that you are going to change about the way you played last time? Or are you going to kind of keep I mean, the game the same? Did anybody watch what happened to me last time? <laughs> uh, if you did, yes. You would probably assume that I should change up a lot. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't do very well. And um, who knows? I don't know what's going to happen tonight. Things look a little shaky, but uh, I think the people I talk to are all right. So we're going to try to move forward so I can build those new relationships with and try to put a new tone in my gameplay this season. So what's looking shaky? My camera. That was it. It was <laughs> Next question. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Are you sure you don't want to elaborate? What, what's looking shaky? I, I like to know things. His head just did. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Everyone looks good. I think. I think everything's fine. I have, no, I have nothing. I have nothing to say. I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen. So. I'm just hoping for the best tonight. Is everyone else satisfied? Yeah, you're never satisfied at Tribal Council. You you and I know <laughs> that the most, Lauren. <laughs> All right, well. Never we, safe. <laughs> if we have nothing else, it is now time to get to the first vote of the season. Joe. Say you're trustworthy, but your lies have been exposed. It's time to go. Please, for the love of God, this, I hope this works. I'm so sorry, Jill, but uh, Mikey is uh, my boy in this game, so if I can be one of you guys, it's gotta be you. Night, I'm voting Pook. I'll go get the votes. Has a hidden mute and want to play it, now would be the time to do so. Ryan. Yes, boo. I'm just saying hi, I'm ready for this. Let's do it. Okay. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave the Zoom call immediately. Are we the votes? First vote. Joe. Mikey, there's one vote Joe, one vote Mikey. Joe, there's two votes Joe, one vote Mikey. Luke, we're tied. Two votes Joe, two votes Mikey. Joe, there's three votes Joe, two votes Mikey. Luke, we're tied again. Three votes, Joe. Three votes, Mikey. Joe, that's four votes, Joe. Three votes, Mikey. Luke, we're tied again. Four votes, Joe. Four votes, Mikey. Joe, that's five votes, Joe, four votes, Mikey, one vote left. First person voted out of Survivor THS versus Specialist, Joe. Peace. Joe. Good game, buddy. Okay. See y'all later. Yeah. Well, first person voted out, long way to go. We'll see you tomorrow night. It is what it is, man. I knew I was uh, I was in trouble sticking my neck out to take out Pook. I knew the news would eventually get to him. Um, it was just putting my trust in people, and they trust Pook. So it is what it is. Um, I'm done. I'm done with the games. 
Shout out to Melissa. She was my number one ally in the first one. Shout out to NSFWs, but I'm done. I'm retired. It's all good. Peace.